Hi everyone, my name is Mohammed, and in this video I'll show you how to insert native LaTeX equations uh, into your PowerPoint presentation. So I assume that you are already familiar with uh, LaTeX and something like what you see in green here uh, simply makes sense to you. Uh, I personally like to write my documents in LaTeX, but when it comes to presentation, I prefer PowerPoint uh, because it gives me uh, lots of animation options and some nice drawing tools as well. However, I was missing the LaTeX uh, equations of quality in my PowerPoint. Of course, I can insert um, uh, equations into a PowerPoint presentation using the uh, built-in equation editor. Uh, which I can get from ins the, the insert tab and then um, we go here to equations and once I click here I can start writing equations similar to what you see on the left here but uh, as you can see I don't get um, uh, like the equations equality that I will get from uh, LaTeX or even the font uh, so the equations you see on the right here uh, are written uh, using Equina Tech and the ones you see on the left are written uh, using the uh, built-in equation editor of uh, PowerPoint. Okay, it turns out that you can insert uh, your native LaTeX equations into PowerPoint using a free PowerPoint add-in called Equinatech. And in this video, I'll show you how to install and use this add-in. And in the next video, I'll show you some tips to work smart with it. I will first go to the web page of this add-in over here so the link is also in the video description i'll go down a bit to system requirements and as you can see from the system requirements it's essential to have latex installed uh, on your computer so i assume that you already uh, have either uh, mech tech or tech live installed i have uh, mech tech for example and in order to make sure that, that, that I have LaTeX installed properly, I will open a command window by going to start and then start writing CMD and click on command prompt and write there PDF LaTeX and hit enter. So once I get this message, uh, this gives me the MacTech version that I have on my computer. So this means that I have uh, LaTeX uh, installed properly on my computer. So I'm going to simply close this now, right? So yeah, so I just make just make sure that you have LaTeX installed on your computer. Uh, so, all right, so we will go now to the download and installation uh, uh, section, and let's go ahead and click on the link to the download page of Equinatech add in right so we'll go down to here so i recommend that you download the password protected zip file here uh, to avoid any changes to your antivirus settings and if you read this paragraph you will know what i mean so i'm going to click here i have this guy downloaded so let's put it on just desktop for now So I'll go to my desktop and unzip the file. So right click, extract to this folder. So now we uh, should enter the password that is provided on the web page, which is simply Iguanatech in this format. So I'm just going to copy it, go to my password section and then paste, then okay. So if I open the generated folder here, so I will see the add-in file. That's the Iguanatech add-in file that we will use in this presentation. Right. Okay, so now I'll go to my uh, PowerPoint presentation folder, which is this one here. So that's the folder where I have my PowerPoint presentation. Um, right now I have three files here. These are the files that I use in my demos today. Uh, before proceeding, so let us first create an empty folder and we'll give it a na uh, the name uh, temp, T-E-M-P, and hit enter. Uh, so this folder will be used by Iguanatech for temporary latex compilation. Uh, 
just make sure that this file has read and write privileges. So if I right click on it, then go to properties and then go to security. So just make sure that uh, this uh, file uh, is uh, readable and writable. All right, so for this video, I will use only the first PowerPoint file here. So I'm just gonna double click here. Actually, this is the open file here. Sorry. Yeah, so we have this file here, right? So now we will add the downloaded iguana tag to the PowerPoint add-in list by going to file here. And then we go to options then add-ins and go to this, this drop-down list and we choose PowerPoint add-ins and then go. Here we'll click on add new and we navigate to our downloaded add-in. So we downloaded that to desktop, iguana tech, and then we'll choose our add-in file here. So once and then enable, macros then once this uh, add-in is loaded you will notice this iguana tech tab over here so i'll close this now and then go to the iguana tech uh, tab and let's first uh, set the main uh, settings for our add-in so in this window i will set the location of the temp file that we created earlier i'll do that by clicking on uh, relative to the current direct directory and right here in the box temp which is simply the folder that we created earlier and then i'll also change the value here for dpi i will change i'll change it from the default value to uh, 2000s so this value actually controls the visual quality of the resulting equations so I just find that 2000 is uh, a reasonable value or a reasonable number here, right? And then I'm going to hit OK. OK, so let's go to a new slide. And in this new slide, we'll go to new LaTeX display. So this will open up a window here. And I'm sure that you see some something familiar. Uh, yes, that's the LaTeX uh, environment you would normally see when writing a LaTeX document. So let's write our first equation. Let's write, for example, that uh, E equals to MC squared. So I'll simply write this in the math mode. So dollar sign E equals to MC squared, which is a, like a hat, and then two. So that's MC squared. And then we close the math mode by another dollar sign and then we click on generate in this box this will do the generation and here we have our first LaTeX equation uh, written uh, using iguana tech right uh, we can also like uh, inside this environment write as if we are writing our uh, or any LaTeX document um, uh, for example we can use the equation environment so let's write another equation in the equation environment. So I'll start this by begin, then equation. I'll put a star because I don't want to show the, uh, the equation number, then end equation. A star and then in between uh, let's write any random equation something like x equals to I don't know frac and in the numerator we have for example a and in the denominator we have for example B and this fraction is multiplied by the function sign of sorry of the letter theta right and then we hit generate yeah so this works and we get our uh, LaTeX equation here now we can actually uh, resize the resulting equation you can deal with it as if it's an image 
And whenever you would like to edit again, just click on this image and then go to edit latex display. It will open the um, uh, like uh, the equation uh, in the latex format, and you can start edit. You can start editing uh, like the edit. And when you're done with your edits, let's just multiply by uh, any letter h power 2 for example so once you're done with your edit you simply write or hit sorry regenerate and you will get the regenerated equation okay all right so this wraps up my first video and if you're interested in knowing how to be more efficient with iguana tech and powerpoint just watch the following video for more demos thank you and see you again